thing's as heavy as a politician's wallet. Got more torque than a fart after Taco Tuesday. Up in the bottom. Damn. Well, howdy, y'all. Guess what time it is. We're gonna work on some brakes. It's time to get after it. Let's get her in the air. All right, wheels are off. Train. Train. All right, first assessment. Wheels off, up off the ground. Underneath to this cup. Really? As I was saying, the underneath of this car looks great. And then all the brake lines in the back have got to be redone. I'll probably just redo it all then, you know. Oh, hey, I'll probably just redo it all. New line, it's broke off actually back there. Somebody took the bolt off of it and put it back. It's just kind of dangling back there. And I'm talking about the bolt that goes in the rear end that holds it steady until it goes to your wheel cylinders. The only other thing that I know that I'm going to have to find is a transmission cross member for this A body. The little dampeners that go on each side, like most BOPs did, and both of them, the they actually rusted the cross member off. It's just kind of dangling on there. Yeah, so that's not safe. Can't put it on the road till I get get a cross member. Might look into disc brakes for the point of this, even though I'm not against the drums, but disc brakes hold for the burnout better, you know. So, all right, let me get this. I'll start on the end, I think, and get it apart. Well, my poor old red elk bong has just seen better days. Might have to, might have to find a replacement. I'm sorry, but you're, you're just not holding up anymore. We got good drums on them. You style. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. They all free. Oh yeah. I ain't got to change them brakes at all. But they're good. I ain't, I ain't changing that. I'll rebuild the, the drum a little bit, but I ain't replacing it. I can't believe it's complete. And they weren't locked up. That's that's crazy. Oh, look at there. That's nice. Uh, air shock line right on the exhaust pipe. Very those are solid. That drum looks great too. Looks real good. Except for that brown recluse spider. Normally I won't kill spiders at all. They're great insects to have. Arachnids to have in your yard and even in your house for the most part. Brown recluse, black widows, I mean, they're good, I guess, good for the environment, for your environment, too, as long as you don't get bit by one. I've been bit by a brown recluse. Luckily, it got on the callus of my foot, and it only ate the callus away and started to get in, but, you know, he got me good. Let's just say that. Or probably she, because I think, you know, for some reason, all the females are the mean ones. I mean, think about the praying mantis before you go get married. Good. Those brakes are good enough. I don't even have to put new brakes on. I think I even did get new brakes. Trying to save a little money here. Not all this get free. Have to do some things. This is the rear line, and it twisted off as I knew it would. It's this thing is so rusted. I'm actually going to have to replace part of the line in the back. Not all of it. Just part of it. Uh, I have all the fittings to do that. But I do not have the hose that's at O'Reilly's right now. I need to go get it. So I'm gonna run to O'Reilly's and get me a hose. And the rear wheel cylinders look great. Brakes look great, everything looks great. Well, I may just be able to replace this and a couple lines and should be ready to roll, at least in the, the rear end anyway. So see you in a bit. Well, went to O'Reilly's, didn't have the right ones. I was working on the rear end, the front ones, Still, you know, I gotta let them soak a little while, try not to break the hose with the lines, the metal lines. But we still got a lot to do this thing while we're waiting on parts. It's now it's Wednesday, the parts will be here Friday, so I can work on it on the weekend. It won't take much. But we need to change the oil in this thing. So I'm gonna have Zeppelin start this thing up. 
and we're going to let her idle for a little while. That way, you know, get her warmed up, it comes out a little easier. We'll probably change the oil on this thing two or three times, actually. I'm sure it's pretty nasty the way that the inside of the block with all the water leaks. Anyway, top that off before we start it. Got to hook the battery up. Should be good to go. I know the oil filter is, because it's orange. Luckily, I have a big supply of the oil filters for this car, because if it's this car, the Pontiac, the AMC, the Oldsmobile, the Jeep, same oil filter. Oh, gross. Oh, man. Full of gas, full of it's bad. There ain't really any oil leak though, is there, buddy? Nope. Looks pretty good. Just dirty, but we'll take care of that. Maybe we'll do that next with this washer. She ain't been washed yet. Yeah. Got all the steering stuff looks great. Pitman arm, the <clears throat> everything looks good. This is unbelievable. It's, it's literally like you've been driving it, but just don't take care of it. But all the ball joints look good. All the tie rods look good. They're all tight. Stabilizer's good. Unbelievable. I wonder how easy this Fram filter is gonna one off of here. They're pretty stubborn little No, oh, it's coming off. I'll bet this thing is disgusting. It ought to be. Feels gross. It's just as watery. Ew. Oh man. That thing's as heavy as a politician's wallet. Alrighty, let me get a new filter and something to wipe this fram off my hands before I start, you know, falling apart. Just remember folks, you want to put some oil on this seal. Used can work, it just needs some kind of lubricant so it don't stick. Now normally I would put some in this, you know, you don't have to. I like to but this thing sits so sideways, most of it would probably come out. But we'll try it for good measure anyway. Huh? I just don't like having a dry spot. It, it, it may amount to nothing. It may amount to nothing, but I don't know. To me, just trying to throw oil. It, basically, you're putting air in your line, I feel. I'm probably wrong. What the hell do I know? Wicks. Part number 51258 fits everything but Ford and Chevy for some reason. I just can't get a good hand on it because the hand It's not on there very tight. You don't want to like crank them on there. Guys. Okay. Yeah, you can see how thin that is. Oh, it's completely saturated with gas from when we were trying to start it. It just blown by them rings. That's why the smoke was coming out. The rings weren't seated yet. The fuel that we were trying to start it with went down in there. And I probably should have tried to, you know, change the oil before this, but I wasn't real sure that motor was going to run. So now we know. All right, let's get some oil in it. If you ever have a Buick like this, make sure you know that these turn out. They don't pull out because I just pulled mine. Scratch the rust. It's fine, you already have like 500 scratches on this thing. Yep. The way Dad taught me. Get your oil in it. Old famous. My STP. 
it actually takes two bottles of this STP to actually hit the right amount of zinc that the oil used to have in it. Now, you might think sometimes that oil is oil. It's not. There's different additives and things that can, in oils, that can actually harm your engine, especially if it's done cheaply. So, just be careful and wary of that. It's, it does make a difference. Now, as far as the zinc goes, after the engine's broke in and it's worn out, yeah, it probably really doesn't matter. But why not just put at least a little bit of zinc in it? Try to use, you know, diesel oil with, you know, with zinc in it. But don't believe everything here. This don't have the right amount of zinc in it that the old oils did, no matter what people say or who says it. Don't be going breaking in your motors with this stuff without zinc additive. A lot of it. Things can get nasty. Save the bottle, because, you know, let's check our oil. Well, where's, I can't find it. It's dark. Operating range. Yep. Time to fire her up. Give me that camera, that's your job. Don't start things. Hit it, mate. something else to do huh so that's going to do it tonight we didn't get any of our brake parts in we'll be back this weekend and we'll kick back on to this but all right i'll see you in a couple days well you'll see me like right now or... <clears throat> damn it maybe you try it you try it Can't snap his finger. Yeah, I can. They're just slippery. It just, I, I won't work. Snap. Hey guys, another day, another lost dollar. Let me show you a few things I've already done uh, off camera in the dark. Is it, it's going to storm, and it did. Here's what we got. Got me a new brake line. That'd be the rubber line right there put in, and I also had to put a uh, metal line from so far into about right there coupled it in it's fine got new lines on my rear uh, those hooked up just fine bent them around but that's easy stuff right so I need to show you something that I found while I was underneath this car this is pristine precision just the greatest high-performance suspension you've ever seen so anyway I was rooting around under here get my brake lines all hooked up and I happened to look up and notice these awesome suspension lifts that somebody had put in above the spring and I don't believe there's anything holding them in there there's also shock towers which I don't know I don't think those are maybe they are original I don't know but all I know is is there's a block of wood that still has a, a spot on it that they chopped it off they didn't even cut it correctly I wonder if that's uh yeah there's nothing that's just a bug nest or something that's just a two by four old school two by four by the way 
that's not even the new garbage and it's just stuck in the spring well I'm leaving it y'all you ain't gonna believe this but off camera I decided I'd squirt the uh, the bleeders they came right out I mean I sprayed some stuff on them I just used a wrench they came right out they're clean they're ready to go filled the reservoir and I'm just gonna let this kind of air bleed down maybe it'll help get some of that crap out of there so I took these out and uh, we'll just let her sit for a while maybe start to work on the fronts or do something else so I uh, filled up the reservoir after I cleaned it out I took the bleeders out which are in great shape might clean them up a little bit put some man seize on them just for, just for kicks you can see it's leaking it wouldn't do it on gravity so I just made sure that it had full fluid in the reservoir and I pumped her and make sure we got fluid coming out of both sides and the fluid actually looks pretty clean so yep now let's get to work on these front ones I've been spraying you know knocker loose juice on that and hopefully these will come loose because I'm gonna try to see if I don't even need to put uh, if I don't even need to put the uh, stuff that I bought like new uh, wheel sill or wheel cylinders and all that stuff so I just want to change that line because I know they're bad if we can get fluid to come through there we should be fine so unfortunately these you can't just take you got to take off the whole damn thing that's all right we can check the bearings while we're in there well they're not happy we're gonna have to heat it we're gonna have to think of another way to do this probably okay well since we ain't gonna reuse it, we're just gonna cut this damn line. We're gonna take it, try to take it off from the bottom. Damn! <laughs> I guess I ain't gonna cut the line. <laughs> Ooh, fucking awesome! See, that's the kind of shit we catch on camera here. That yeah, brake fluid boil. And she pretty, uh,. She was definitely on there and stuck. I guess maybe I should have just cut the line, but great for camera. <laughs> well, I was able to get that off there without breaking that line and it's it's leaking. So yeah, these were these were plugged solid. Look at that. Oh yeah, plug solid and I was able to get that out of there. So for now, I'm just gonna change this line and we'll go from there. If I don't have to take this all apart, I'm not going to. It seems to roll pretty good. Now herein lies the pain in the ass that you always run into. This thing seizes, not so much here, but it's usually down in the bottom here. It likes to seize up. And excuse me, if you heat her up, be careful when you do that with this open, cause boy, that'll catch that brake fluid. It'll, you know, worse than what just happened to me. So. Then I just heat it up a little bit and then start wiggling back and forth. Take your wrench and just get it up in there and just kind of go back and forth. Maybe use the closed end, that way it don't fall off. Just sit there and do that with it. And then spray a little juice down in there. Do it some more, spray a little juice. And now it's not broken and you can turn it all the way around. So it got, it's still got a little bit of a hole in it, but that's not enough that we're gonna worry about. It, it, it's gonna work because these, unlike the other style, this is the side for the brake uh, wheel cylinder. So this has to screw in too. So normally what you would do if you had the kind that just bolt on with a with a banjo washer, you would just take, put it on here, you know, screw it on there and then just put the banjo washer on. Well, you can't do that with these. These are old school. They got, you know, this little end. But let me get this on here and I'll show you. There, she's all in goes in there it's got a little banjo washer which didn't come with this kit so I just use the old one it's fine topper this one went in at uh, 
little hold down clip was bad and I have a whole bag of these ones that don't actually fit GM's real well but if you do it right they do so all right that one is done turn the wheel like this so we know what we're doing on the other side all right if I have any trouble I'll let you know these things sound great that's fine well got that one on more of the same uh, it wasn't near as bad as the other side though got it loose it seemed to be fine so we're going to get Zeppi or somebody out here and bleed these brakes I've already cleaned out the bleeder on this wheel cylinder and that wheel cylinder and I just cleaned those out so I put uh, anti-seize on all the little you know the bleeders this one I'd already done that to on the other side so all right let's get somebody out here to help me bleed well all the brakes are bled Zeppi come out and help me do that just want to get it over with uh, got the emergency brake lines off of it they were just hanging apparently maybe they were stuck at one time I don't I don't know but I went I did I didn't cut anything for all you purists I didn't cut anything I took it off by the nut in the bolt and I set it off to the side and they'll go in the garage so I have all that and everything bled out good lines look clear no leaks so the only thing I got left here is I need to find a transmission cross member for this well guess what good friend of mine Jeff two hacks garage up north of me we're both Illinoisans for some stupid reason we haven't got out of here yet but uh, his buddy that he works with on some of his stuff actually had one out of their 71 or 72 GTO it's the exact same thing measured it out isolators the whole nine yards got it all so tomorrow probably I'm gonna run up and grab that stick that in then it's just clean it test and tune you gotta find a new mount for that radiator though for the top because it sits back too far but I think we might just put the wheels on this thing and drive it and see what it'll do I know the brakes work now that's awesome so give me a minute to get the wheels on it we'll just take it for a little cruise up and down my road here huge moment y'all this thing's actually drivable I mean I, I still gotta get the transmission cross member on it but let's drive it Somebody was inside and missed the test drive, but wow, I'm... she got posy. Yeah, it does have posy in it, but it's like a limited slip or something. I don't, I don't know. But once they got spinning, boy, they both start going, and she makes all kinds of noise. What a great sounding car! This is a win. I do got to get them seats bolted down though, because I only had two nuts on it, and it still about threw me in the back. But I'm sure Zeppi wants to take your ride. So let me get a couple more nuts and washers and we'll get one of them seats down. Maybe I'll take you in the car with me, all right? All right, seats secure. We got we got seat belts in this bitch. We do have seat belts in here. Is your seat belt over there pulls out? Oh, well that ain't no good. Now she won't start. Hold on, we may have a problem. We may have a problem, Houston. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Good Lord. Are you cereal? It did fine. And now this.
see if she idles. Let me get down the road and, you know, let's get your seatbelt on. Here we go. Bonnie's first drive. How are we doing on fuel? We're getting low. I suppose that means we need to go get some. Except my mirror's all screwy yet. Need to fix that. I don't know why this thing died. That kind of freaked me out. There's gear two. Staying cool. down the road like it never missed a beat. Ain't it, buddy? It ain't overheating. Good old pressure. It ain't really that rattly either, is it? it ain't nothing like mom's car. Good lord. Whee! What a triumph, man. What a triumph. Feels like those rings are starting to reseat, too. This thing... Sounds amazing, don't it? She really does sound good. I'm not so sure this engine's all that old. How many miles we got? 22,000? No, that's 120. Oh. Boy, I don't know. It's very possible. No. There ain't no way this is a 22,000 mile car. It's just taken care of, except for, you know, when it had the bad, what you call it. Anyway. How do you like them apples? That'll never run. That thing's a piece of shit. Why would you work on that? Why would you try to fix that? That's a parts car. What are you doing? Why do you think that you can do that to those cars? You should part that out so somebody with a GS340 can use the parts to fix the, something that's really nice. Again, blow it out your ass. Bonnie is running, driving, and ready for the road. I have one more thing to do to it besides clean it out. Seats are down, good enough. Seat belts work, good enough. Clean out the inside, put the transmission cross member in it. And I still may put the different, I may put a different brake booster in Master Cell because it don't feel like it wants to come back up. 1967 GS 340 Buick, 340 two speed turbine 300 switch pitch transmission. Rear end is one wheel peel, but she'll still move pretty good. I might be able to change that. I don't know. I might leave it one wheel peel. Fender, fixed. Hood, fixed. Don't overheat. Keeps all pressure. And it's only going to get better. It's time for plates and insurance. You guys, I appreciate you guys watching this build. This one, for some reason, started to mean a lot to me because people said, including someone in this house, said that that thing is a piece of what are you doing 
Not a piece of shit. Bonnie is back in business. Go out and find these, put them back on the road. Or if you don't think, go out, find them, put them back on the road. Don't let anybody tell you that it can't be done because it can. Take care of yourselves, guys. Peace out. Oh, wait, wait. We should give her a bath. She deserves a bath. Let's give her a bath, huh? Sucks as I'm about out of super clean. I didn't think to grab any. Dang it. So there's a plane buzzing around. Barnstormer, you know. Pretty cool. So I ain't complaining. I like watching planes, even though I'm scared of flying. I do have my super clean spray degreaser. This stuff is less toxic than like oven cleaner stuff like that and it really really works good this is the first time i've tried it in the aerosol so i'm gonna do the engine bay first I've got a bag over the top of the distributor because this is a points distributor so you know you gotta put a bag over so let me spray this engine bay down and spray her off Craigslist picture never I would never put it on Craigslist I've got a thing I'm gonna pop this out that's coming out I'm just sitting here admiring until you get all the gunk cleaned off yeah I know there's there's filler and stuff everywhere look here after I clean this off the original white is coming out what a beautiful car absolutely beautiful I couldn't be more happy about getting this one. This one here I was skeptical about because it was a lot of money for normal than what I pay. But, my God. All right, Bonnie. Now that's going to do it. Bonnie and Artemis both rode ready in just over a week and a half. I mean, I've been working on them both off and on, but the same week and a half got Amber's old Pontiac that was left and it was headed for the scrapyard it was everybody said garbage I brought it home she's licensed and insured and on the road and then Bonnie everybody said the same thing that's gonna do it y'all appreciate you watching this I'll probably do a few more things on Bonnie not sure though I might just leave her the way she is for now maybe I had a subscriber say Where's Clyde? Maybe I need to find Bonnie a Clyde. Take care.